Hey guys, Zell here, and welcome back to some more Nike. Now, I know I said I would most likely be seeing you guys on the Christmas event, but... Yeah... I, I, I want to do another bond. Ludmila, Micah. So let's do a 10 shot on Micah. And maybe... The Christmas gods will strike true? There is no Christmas God. This sucks. Dang it. I am not gonna get Christmas Micah. Wait, how many uh, golden mileage? Okay, I'm one away. <sighs> At least I'll be able to guaranteedly get whoever the New Year's unit is. I'm still, I'm still assuming it's gonna be a pilgrim. Madonia was the first New Year's. So I'm assuming it's going to be a pilgrim. Now, whether or not it's going to be a pilgrim we know, which would be crown and... Ah, crud. What was the one that follows her around? Okay, you guys, it was annoying the ever-living hell out of me. I could not remember the other freaking pilgrim's name. That was with crown. I had to go here, get to the point where she talked, and then only look at the first letter of her freaking name. And even then, it still took me a lot, about a minute. Her name is Chime. That was driving me absolutely insane. I probably have been sitting here for like the last seven to eight minutes trying to remember her dang name. I'd like to pride myself on at least remembering most of the Nikkei's names whenever I see their, their, their profile image. I'd like to think that I can name all of them. That I at least have. I don't have Chime. But either way, it could either be Crown, it could be Chime, it could be another pilgrim that we don't even know about yet. That could be the uh, New Year's anniversary unit. Hell, it could be a non-pilgrim unit for the New Year's. But yeah, either way. Chime is her name. That is was a lot more painful than I thought it would be trying to remember her name. If I can't remember a character's name and I end up looking at their name from someone mentioning it or seeing it online, when I type in a descript descriptor for the character and I accidentally see the name, it literally ticks me off. I hate it so much when I can't remember something and then I just have it shown to me. It's so irritating. Either way, who the heck can I talk to? I mean, I haven't done Snow White, have I? But if I do Snow White, then I would do Little Snow. Is there anyone that I can do that I've got... That I've done most of? I haven't done Sugar, I haven't done Freema. I have Milk. I haven't done either one. Technically, those three could be the next ones I do. Okay, you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do Cafe Sweetie next. Starting with our main girl, Sugar. This was Cafe Sweetie, right? Coffee no kaori ga suru kisu te yamitsuki ni narisou. I'm gonna go with Partner it. Wa Inside the bar, there is some soft jazz music playing. The bartender notices me. Would you like to order? I'm supposed to meet someone here. We'll order together. Okay. Here she is. The sound of a bike engine shutting off can be heard. You're early. That's because I couldn't wait to see you. I had nothing else to do. You're awfully frisky. Don't worry, you'll be able to move around unimpeded again soon enough. Before we get down to business, I'll have the usual bartender. And for you. Uh, I mean... Sure, let's go with milk. <laughs> milk. 
Man, a bar that doesn't serve milk. How dare you? The coffee is really good here. I recommend it. Okay, so do they not sell water either? Okay, then I'll have one. One for me as well. Sure thing. Two cups of coffee come sliding down from across the bar. Have a sip. Don't we need to, you know, fill it with like 10 cubes of sugar? I finished the drink in the glass. It's so sweet, it feels like my teeth are going to fall out. Well, what do you think? It's not bad. I added 12 tablespoons of brown sugar. There we go. I hope you- I'm glad you like it. It could be my imagination, but it feels as if the bartender had a devilish grin for just a moment. Alright, let's get down to business. Hmm. Someone gave Cafe Sweetie an assignment. Oh wait, so they are Cafe Sweetie. At least I heard that right. The contact point is in the outer rim. Procurement of goods. You interested? It seems dangerous. High risk, high reward. How come Milk and Freebo aren't working on this with you? They're both working on their own separate assignments. They can't go in on us with in on us with this one. But at the same time, I can't ask just anyone to be a part of this. That's why I called you. Alright, let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Let's get started. I'll go rev up the engine. Sugar immediately downs her coffee and places some chips on the bar. Thanks for the drink, bartender. I'll be back. Sugar walks out. Thanks for the drink. Sir, you are short on credits. I pay for Sugar's coffee as well and leave the bar. This is the contact point. No one's here. You came as Cafe Sweetie. Hanike. Yes, as you can see, I'm a mass produced pro production number one. What's Anike doing out here in the outer rim? Because I'm a mass production number model number one. I was sold to the outer rim just before I was to be discarded. My combat skills have all been removed. However, even without combat skills, Nike can be of some use here and there. Oh, don't worry, I know exactly what Nikes are for in the Outer Rim. We still possess a fair amount of strength and have no need to eat or sleep. Yeah, and you also have some other capabilities that we've seen in the uh, Underworld. <laughs> what was it with, uh... Was that with Viper? We learn about that? Therefore, we are best used on the front lines. Directly in the line of fire. There's something wrong. This is a rather common practice. Who is this person beside you? A new member of Cafe Sweetie. I'm a command. My partner. They can be trusted, so relax. Hmm. Very well. Besides, there are more important things at hand. The assignment. No. I really could use a cup of coffee. Coffee. Yes, coffee. It is rare for mass production number one, but I have managed to retain some fragments of my previous memories. I missed the coffee that I drank with the one I loved. If it's coffee you want, I've got some right here. What? Sugar hands her hip flask over to mass production number one. Mass production one opens the cap of the hip flask. I can't believe it. Just like that. <laughs> I want real coffee, not this artificial stuff. And this is far too sweet. I can barely even taste the coffee. Who would ever drink this? You're looking at her. We're not taking this assignment. Well, there you go. You just pissed sugar off. Why? Because sugar, again... In terms of coffee, Sugar likes a huge amount of sugar in her coffee, 
Milk likes milk in her coffee. Freema, I do not remember. What was Freema's drink of choice for coffee? I, I, I really don't know. Milk? Cream? Was it cream? What? I can't work with someone who doesn't know the first thing about coffee. Well, I could say the very same thing. Would you be satisfied if I get you some of this real coffee? Yes, real coffee. If only I could taste it once again, I would. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Why do you want to drink coffee all of a sudden? Isn't it Cafe Sweetie policy not to question the client? That's Cafe Sweetie's policy, not mine. Soon there is going to be a major civil war within the Outer Rim. I'll probably be in the front line to use this cannon fodder. I will most likely die. I may just be a Nikkei, a tool to be placed on the front lines. But do I not have a right to cherish what memories I had when I was still living? Are your memories really that important? Yes, they are. My first kiss was when I was having coffee with the one I love. And do you know how it feels to kiss someone with the scent of coffee on your lips? No, I don't. Sugar keeps glimpsing at me. Uh, yeah, uh, Sugar, you want you want to go? <laughs> I mean, one of your advisors mentioned it about us, you know, kissing. Let's do it. But I'm rather curious. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Aren't you, partner? Ah, I, I, I really don't like Shipped Up. So many times they give us these choices that we could possibly get, and then they choose no. Oh, I'm joking. You guys will see what I'm talking about when I actually show the mini game for the event. It, it, it's so annoying. I'm not joking when I choose some of these choices, man. Not at the exact moment, no. Hmm. I'll accept the assignment. Thank you. Contact me if you find it. Is there any way to stop the Civil War? Perhaps, but it would should not change my fate. To be discarded means to reach the end of one's life. Whether or not I'm on the front lines, I won't last more than a month. So are you saying this is your final wish before you die? That seems about right. Okay. We'll try our best to find this real coffee you're looking for. Coffee? That's right. You're, you are talking about the real coffee, right? Yeah, real coffee. It's not a trade prohibited item. That means it's not illegal. True. But it'll cost you a penny penny. I tried to get my hands on some, but if you're trying to get some money up and up, it'll set you back. By how much, Ruby? How much? Ruby displayed the numbers with exaggerated hand gestures. We don't need much. Can you buy me some? Get a load of this broad. If it's so little, then buy it yourself. I don't have any money. But you all have plenty to go around. Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> Not wrong. Well, I'm afraid I don't agree. But if Commander wants some, Ruby can try to get some. All you have to do is grant Ruby one wish. Uh... What, what, what wish? It can't be that bad, right? It's Ruby, after all. If the client wants it, then I'll give it a shot, too. Okay, so that's two out of three that'll want to do it for me. We'll try to get it ourselves. I figured you would say that. <laughs> right. We carry all sorts of coffee scented drinks. Why not use those? We've got everything from bottom of the barrel to top of the line. No, the client is adamant. She wants the real deal. Wow, that's a toughie. 
I know a way. Tell me. There's an organization in the outer rim that deals specifically with coffee. They steal it, then sell it for cheap. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard that story as well. The rumors are that the coffee they steal is real. They say the scent is unlike anything else. Once you smell it, you'll never forget it. That's right. I had a chance to smell it myself. I'm no professional when it comes to coffee. But that stuff smelled mighty fine. Good enough for me. Let's go, partner. Where do you think you're going? This kind of info doesn't come free. Put it on my tab. And do you even know how big your tab has gotten? <laughs> no. Uh, neither do I actually. And do you guys know? Ruby doesn't concern herself with such a small change. Me neither. Ladies, does it look like I'm running a charity here? Running a business is all about. We left before the nagging could begin. It's inside this building. This is their home base. I can smell the coffee all the way from here. Looks like we came to the right place. Let's head in. What are you going to do? I'm going to steal the coffee. That's a crime. But it's stolen coffee. You're just stealing it back. Then let's buy it at a co at cost price at about 0.1% of the sale price. There's no way they'll go for that. Maybe, but they may be op op more open to the idea when they've got a gun pointed at them. A lot of people probably would. It's a fair deal. <laughs> fair? Yes. I make a demand and they listen. Sounds fair to me. Sure, whatever you say. Man, I'm liking sugar more, more and more by the second I'm doing this. There aren't any sentries in the front of the entrance. We can go right in. Once I kick that door down, I'm heading in. So watch my back, partner. Wouldn't it be better to sneak in quietly? Infiltration and sneaking around isn't really my thing. Here I go. The moment sugar approaches in is about to kick down the door. The sensor activates and the door opens automatically. Sugar's foot hurls, hurdles th through the now empty doorway. <laughs> hey, yo, Sugar, nice kick. <laughs> Your kick was so powerful, the door opened before it even hit it. <laughs> Thanks. I walk into the building with Sugar. It wasn't long before I noticed mountains of sacks piled up. Could that be the coffee? I think so. Good, let's take it. They must have an owner. Well, they're not here right now, so find us keepers. It's like picking up something that someone dropped on the ground. Let's take it. We pick up the sacks of coffee and head out of the building. As soon as we exit the building, we both find ourselves staring down the barrel end of a gun. Wait just a minute. Who are you? You didn't happen to find those sacks inside, did you? Mass production one Nikes. Looks like it's really going to happen. A civil war in the outer rim. But we asked if you stole it. No, we bought it at cost. Don't lie. There's no one else inside. How do you know that? We're the sentries for tonight, and we just came back from a quick break. Well, consider this your punishment for slacking off during work. That's enough out of you. Put the bags down or I'll shoot. Hey, they didn't say we can shoot. Then what should we do? They'll kill us if they find out we'll let, we let the police get robbed or we were off doing something else. You two are really bad at your jobs. Not to mention, they say you can't kill anyone. Then what the hell are the point of the sentries? If the sentries can't shoot... I mean, hand-to-hand -hand combat? 
Fine, I'm a problem solver, so I propose a solution. Exactly, just knock them out cold. Sugar swings the buttstock of the gun and knocks over the two knee kicks. Uh, uh. You two were attacked by strangers who came out of nowhere, barged in and made off with some coffee. I mean, that is what's literally happening right now. Both of you read my lips. We need to make sure our alibis match. Oh, what alibi? You just described what actually happened. Wait, read my lips. Partner, what comes to mind when you look at my lips? Nothing. Nothing at all. Fine. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Is that so? What on earth are you two doing? I'm trying to be seductive. Hmm. And this is where the distress signal came from. Hurry, everyone. Footsteps can be heard coming closer. Looks like backup is coming. Wait a moment, I'll take care of it. What the heck, man? All taken care of. You. Now I remember. I've heard of you before. The squad of problem solvers, Cafe Sweetie, right? That's right. Milk is my name. I feel bad for Milk. She's giving them a, her, the wrong name of a Cafe Sweetie member. So when someone's looking for a problem, looking for a fight, they're going to be calling out Milk. Not Sugar, not Freema. Milk. I kind of feel bad for her, but then again, she does like a fight. <laughs> oh god. And solving problems is my game. Why are you putting all this on milk, sugar? If you ever feel like getting revenge, you know where to find me. Let's go, partner. Assignment complete. Mass production one, Nikkei takes a sip of the coffee. Yuck. What is this? Coffee. What on earth did you do to it? Why does it taste like this? I boiled the coffee beans in water. Isn't the aroma nice? Very robust. I don't even know where to start. It's all wrong. This isn't real coffee either. There's another cheap imitation. It's very similar, but it's different. Don't lie. This is probably the best that can be found on the Ark, right? Most likely. Very well, I'll consider the assignment fulfilled. Good work. Let's head to the surface, partner. There should be coffee up there. I knew you would say that. See, you just get me. Yeah, I do. That's why we work so well together. If it's not available in the Ark, then it must be up on the surface. We'll go to the surface and bring back some coffee. Hey, you don't have to go through all that. Hmm. What do you mean? What I mean is, it's dangerous on the surface. There's no need to risk your life just for a silly mission. Wasn't this silly mission the only way to get this coffee that means so much to you? When people's lives are in danger, that's why I draw the line. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Your thinking is completely wrong. If there is something you want, then you must stop at nothing to obtain it. Do not let something as trivial as morality stand in your way. The moment you do, you've already lost. That's how the world works, and that's how we work. We don't know when we will fade this from this earth, so we must never stop chasing our dreams. This is what we must do. Only then can we live as humans. But what is that you, you what is it that you want? To make your wish a reality. And a coffee scented kiss. <laughs> wink wink. <laughs> Damn, I love sugar. Ah yes, wink wink indeed. <laughs> Fine, then get me some coffee that is. Let's go, partner. Wait. 
Thanks. You're more compassionate than I originally thought. What, you mean you couldn't tell from th that from the start? Not necessarily. A mountain of miscellaneous items lie before you. First time seeing a junk heap. It sure is. Believing that one day we could reclaim the surface, people gathered all of their most precious household items. Wait, didn't we... Was it a mainline story that we did a junk heap? I don't remember. Did we? Was that side story? When we... I, no, I, I swear it was Jan's team that we came he here to find something. I don't remember what. It's been way too long. Again, that could have been a bond. Probably not, though. Believe me that one day we will claim the surface. People gathered all their most precious household items. Before they fled the surface, they stacked all these items in massive piles. Now the people who used to own these items are all dead. All we have to do is find what we need and it's ours for the taking. Is there coffee here? Yep, frozen coffee to be precise. It probably expired ages ago, but as long as it hasn't deteri deteriorated, we can still drink it. We can use the sterilization device at the Ark. How do we find it? I find digging to be the fastest method. I set up a decoy. Let's move. Are we going to dig through this entire mountain? That's right. Why? Starting to feel unsure of yourself. Let's bet on who can find it first. I knew you'd say that. You're on. I start to dig through the mountain of junk. Three hours later. Hey, check this out, it's a bicycle engine. This kind of model, model was popular in the past. The retro design is superb. I wonder if I can transplant it into Black Typhoon. Two hours later? Hmm, this sure is a weird magazine. Um, that's... Wait, is this one of those picture books everyone talks about? Want to take a look at it together? Yeah, sure, let's do that. That's that. That's a good idea, sugar. Who knows, maybe it'll give us a different outlook on each other. <laughs> Three hours later, so... Five, seven hours so far. All right, break time. We've already been at it half a day. I'm good to keep going. In case you forgot you are human, your body has a limit. So rest. Fine, I'll rest for a while. Yes. Every once in a while I forget that you're a human too. I guess it means that I feel that safe with you watching my back. Ch what am I saying? Sugar quietly scours through the mountain of miscellaneous items. Sugar keeps her head down, her gaze intently focused on the task at hand and nothing else. Yes, and as we're sitting down taking a break, she's bending over and digging through the mountain of stuff, and we get to see her assets in full display. One cup. All just for one cup of coffee. To fulfill a request by a person whose name we don't even know. All I can do is... I stand up and start rummaging through the debris on the ground. I told you to rest. I'm good. I can't let sugar suffer alone. Partner, can I come kiss you? Yes, yes please. Yes. Damn it, shift up, why? No. This hurts. Four hours later, so we've been at this for 11 hours now. My back is killing me. My vision is blurry as well. I can't differentiate what's in front of me. I'm covered head to toe in all sorts of disgusting refuse. Partner, I think I found it. 
Oh. In Sugar's hand lies a small mechanical box. A small light flashes. It appears to still be functional. It's a portable ice box. Found this too. It's smudged and somewhat hard to make out. But I believe the writing on the ice box spells coffee. Let's open it. As the box opens, a plume of cold air puffs out. Inside, there lies a small sealed bag of coffee beans. It's coffee! Huh. <sighs> we did it. How do you make coffee? Hmm, I don't know. And do you just put it in water and boil it? That's not it. Such a lousy one-dimensional way of thinking. Says the one that literally did that on the last coffee she tried to make. Hey, that hurts my feelings. There are several ways, but... The most basic method is to roast them, grind them up, and then pour water over them. I'm not asking about torture methods. <laughs> Neither am I. Roast, grind, and pour water. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> now on the tool. It's ready. Let's start. Yes. Neon brings out the torch. Now this is what I call firepower. The coffee beans start to resemble traditional coffee beans. Rappy, you've got it all wrong. And do these look like something you would roast? I don't think you roast them. Let's go straight to grinding. Neon, have you got the tool? Yes. Locked and loaded. Grind. Did she just... What the hell type of grinding shoots bullets from a gun? The coffee beans became a fine coffee powder scattering everywhere. I don't think this is it either. How come there isn't any proper information? I think it's time to abort everyone. Commander, I'll contact Emma. Don't contact Emma. I mean, look, she's bad at cooking. How bad can she be at making coffee? I technically isn't cooking. Technically. Hmm, I've made coffee several times, so I'm pretty confident. I've never tried real coffee before, though, so I'm looking forward to it. Alright, shall we begin? I'll let you do your thing. Leave it to me. Emma takes the coffee beans and heads into the kitchen. Hey, where did you get real coffee beans anyway? I found them up on the surface. Up on the surface? That's right. Technically, she is telling the truth. Well, in that case, you should try finding some diamonds next time. I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. <laughs> Go! Emma, what did you just do? A loud noise could be heard from the kitchen. Um, it's fine. There's still about half left. There's about two thirds left. How is she breaking stuff already? Make that half of one. Half of one half. Half of one half, huh? Well, one cup should be plenty. Are you sure you're okay? 30 minutes later. Ta-da! I present you a real cup of coffee. Wow, this ain't it. Really unique. And this is the first time I've ever smelled something like this. I could still make one more cup. So let's all share this one. Alright, then me first. Since I'm the one who found it. I mean, it makes sense. But it's just the way she said it. Sugar suddenly produces a small bottle. 
She takes one spoonful of the blackish powder that is inside the bottle and puts it in the coffee. Oh. Oh, what's that? Brown sugar. A cup of coffee. All depends on how much brown sugar you put in it. It's no longer gonna be the regular coffee then. The more you put in. She's still doing it. The better. Alright, that's enough. I think it's already been pulverized. Uh, sorry, you were here. <laughs> Dang. She's still doing it! That should do it. The coffee has become thick and viscous, like a soup. Sugar drinks the coffee. Perfect. And drink some. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. It does seem quite new. You're not going to drink any. More for me then. With a somber look on her face, Emma makes some more coffee. As soon as the coffee is finished, it is put in an all airtight container. Hey, what about the sugar? You can't call it a coffee without some sugar. We can't deliver something like that to the client. It's not finished. I'm sure she'll be perfectly fine, trust me. Well, if you say so. Fine, let's deliver this thing and get this mission over with. She dead. Client, are you busy? Not especially. A civil war has begun at the Outer Rim. It's bad. I believe you still had some business to take care of in the Outer Rim. If so, I'd suggest you get a move on. The central government is going to close off the entrance to the outside world soon. There's not much time. Okay, thank you. Well, no problem. Sugar. So it's begun. Let's hurry. Let's go. Sugar grips tightly onto the bottle that's filled with coffee and runs out. We'll be back. It's too dangerous. The quest is not finished yet. Roger. The bike's exhaust belches violently. I see the party still in full swing. The altar rim has descended into chaos. Gunshots ring through the air together with the Gunshots ring through the air together with the sounds of rioters. Piles of broken boards, bricks, human corpses, and damaged mats production one Nikkei's lie scattered everywhere. Collectors are sifting through the corpses. Residents of the Outer Rim scavenge left it over parts from the damaged Nikkei's. It's a sight almost too terrible to comprehend. Hey partner, get it together. This is too much. Let's just do what we need to do and get out of here. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we have to. How are we going to find the client? Sugar approaches a man bleeding from both his legs. We are looking for a mass production one that look likes coffee. Do you know anything? No. Think hard. Why would I know? The Civil War is over. Stop pestering me. Over. It was hardly a fight in the first place. The mass production one models were used as shields. If you ask me, that money would have been better spent on armored vehicles. Did you lose then? Yes, we were defeated. Nikates cannot attack humans. They can only be used as shields. What chance do we have against an opponent with the latest and highly advanced weaponry? Damn it. If I'd known this would happen, I'd at least have had some fun with them. <coughs> hmm. The executions ought to be happening right about now. Executions? Whoever participated in the Civil War or rather any mass production one models who did. 
They're all being gathered in the central square and disposed of. Okay, thanks. Wait, before you go, finish me off. Okay. Give me one right between the eyes. If you leave me like this, they'll find me and salvage everything they can out of me, down to my marrow. I'd rather die. I'm asking for your help. <laughs> Sugar brings a sawed-off shotgun and bullets that were on the bike. And hands it to the man. Do you know how to use it? I do, but why this? I'll let you decide how your story ends. There's enough ammunition there to do the job. Let's go, partner. Let's save him. No, we are going. Sugar drags me onto the bike. Before I can say anything, she starts the bike and accelerates. A short time later... I hear a gunshot from behind us. That gunshot. So he used it. Not sure against who, but... We traveled on the bike for a little while. We stop at the central square. This is where they're holding the executions. I'll go inside and find our clients. You'll get attacked. I'll fight back. Nikates can't attack humans. I'll convince them that I'm human. I'll go with you. Good idea. It'll be as if I've subdued a human who has threatened a commander. But know this, partner. I'm not going in with live ammunition. I'm using rubber bullets. I can still use the same weapons. But it will make them non-lethal. Whoever gets hit won't die, but they might break a few bones. That should be okay, right? As long as you're okay with all that, that's all that matters. Good, let's go. Alright, one kiss before we enter. We can at least do that, right? Son of a... I really do not like shift up right now in this one. No thanks. Sound of footsteps. What? What is this? Where did you come from? The front door was open. You really ought to upgrade your security. The sound of footsteps. What is Anike doing here? Delivering some coffee. <laughs> the sound of footsteps. The Nikkeis aren't allowed to attack humans like this. Don't worry, I'm just a Nikkei pretending to be a human who's pretending to be a Nikkei. <laughs> what the heck? But that still means you're a Nikkei. <laughs> Stand tall. It should be beyond this door. Seems so. Is this door automatic? No. Sugar kicks down the door forcefully. The metal door crashes down with a loud thud. Inside the large room, there are many mass production one Nikkeis that are horribly damaged. There. There. Sugar approaches a mass production one Nikkei. Are you still alive? You. Here. Why? I came here so you could taste some real coffee. How strange you are. Sugar pulls out the bottle of coffee from her pocket and opens the lid. She pours some of the coffee into the mouth of the mass production one. G ah. It's... it's... Sugar. Let's head back. Our assignment has been fulfilled. The Civil War that broke out in the Outer Rim resulted in many casualties. It was a large-scale civil war in which cutting-edge weaponry was deployed. It was revealed that the mass production one Nikkeis that were about to be discarded were deployed en masse for the conflict. The central, central government will investigate how the mass production one Nikkeis owned by the central government were deployed in the Outer Rim. 
and will take all necessary actions. Here, have a drink. Sugar holds out a plastic cup filled with coffee. Is this... Real coffee, there are about two sips left. You've been through a lot. You should get to taste it at least once. I'll savor it. I take a sip of the coffee. The flavor is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Such richness, that enchanting aroma sublime. How is it? Amazing. Should I try some as well? No sugar added, straight up. All right, fine. Sugar downs the rest of the coffee. Hmm. How is it? Need sugar. A little bitter for my taste. After saying this, Sugar stares straight ahead with a blank expression on her face. Just look at everyone having a good time in the arc right now. All of that madness we saw in the Outer Rim feels a million miles away. It's like it never even happened. <laughs> Way too bitter. <laughs> I need something to wash it down. Like a coffee scented kiss? <laughs> what do you think? Finally! Took us nine million years? How about a kiss? Sure. For some reason, I can't taste the bitterness of the coffee. But I do pick up subtle notes of brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Alright, finally! We finally got that kiss I've been wanting this entire time! They've been cucking me in every single episode! We finally got it! And now we can go see what she has been saying, because I do not remember at all if I've shown it. Has been a long time since I've gotten sugar. So I have absolutely no clue what she used to say, if I even even shown it at all. Very nice though. Very nice. Alright, and sad sadly though, I never did get this. I mean it looks nice. get to see anything. You can see it moving, but that's about it. Alright. What do you have to say, sugar? Alright. Ah uh, yes, of course. Plenty of sugar. Hmm. Probably a while. Kiss with a coffee after taste. Okay. Alright. She has a mind mission as long as she's with us. わたしならコーヒー飲んでるからゆっくりでいいのよ。うん。コーヒーはたまってきてるわね。ちょっといやらしいけど。パートナーは濃厚で甘いのね。シュガーコーヒーみたい。おお。パートナーにハマっちゃ
Well, giving her Milk's name instead of giving her actual name. So yeah, because the Milk was done dirty, I'll do Milk next, and I'll do Prima last. Which will probably be after Neverland, though. Just saying. Until then, I will see you guys later.